In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep your cover six defense from breaking against the trips tight end formation. What's good, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. I uh, just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of the videos that we do here on the channel every single day. And we're taking a look here at the big nickel over G defense. We're going to be talking a little bit about cover six and some of the problems with the coverage and then also how you can kind of fix it and make it play a little bit better for you against trips tied in. Now, I actually just released a big nickel over G kind of mini guide in my Patreon, about a 45 minute ebook on the big nickel over G. So if you want to get access to that, you can join my Patreon membership. Patreon members get access to everything. They get all my Madden 22 strategy guides. In addition to that, we also do weekly pro tips and meta updates every single week to keep them on top of the game. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description uh, below that you can go get access to all that material. But I wanted to talk today about the cover six because the cover six is by far, at least in my opinion, one of the better coverages in the game for defending trips formations, in particularly Trey, Open, uh, Bunch, any of that stuff. But when it comes to trips tied in, for whatever reason, honestly, we get some kind of glitchiness um, that I'm going to talk about in this video and show you what happens. It's really, really unfortunate because uh, trips tied in is such a good offense and such a popular offense that it'd be great if we could run this um, against it and it would work like it's quote unquote supposed to. And uh, just going to walk you through kind of how it's supposed to work. And then I'm also going to walk you through the glitch. And then we're going to show you how to kind of fix the glitch. So I'm going to set two audibles in particular here. Uh, cover four quarters and cover four palms. And then we're going to walk you through um, just exactly how this is going to work. So I'm going to come out and cover six. First and foremost, I want to show you, I want to show you like the problem, quote unquote. And the problem is this. If I streak Scotty Miller here and I'm running cover six, 90% of the time, there's going to be a one play score to this fade right here. And this is the number one problem with this. And we're going to get into why this happens and uh, also kind of the core principles of match. So uh, whenever you're playing match against trips tight end, the, there's two different primary primary um, coverages that you can play. You can either play cover four quarters um, and in a cinch play kind of stuff. I don't know if stubby is the right word, but you're going to have kind of a poach concept. And uh, what that basically means is if I go to the cover four quarters here, this defender is going to play in, rel in, in relationship with the number one receiver. So if the number one receiver runs a vertical route, a route that is more than 10 yards, he will guard him in man-to-man -man coverage. Cover four quarters or cover four matches, not a spot drop zone. It's probably one of the main reasons why it's such an effective defense because it adapts to the coverage, kind of like two, three matchup zone, so to speak, right? Um, the safety on the trip side is going to be playing in relationship with number two. So the number uh, Scotty Miller there on the 20 there, that's who he's working in relationship with. If that number two receiver goes vertical, then he will guard him man to man, meaning a route more than 10 yards. If he does not go vertical, then he is going to work in relationship with the number one receiver. Now, the number three receiver is actually going to be poached by this defender king so if the number three receiver goes vertical then king is going to guard him and we're going to show you kind of a little bit of a kind of a problem with that especially from a trip side end formation uh we get kind of a weird and uh different coverage here on the tight end and then just to kind of give you just a simple way to understand it if the tight end runs under underneath on like a drag then that safety is going to sh switch responsibilities and now he's responsible for the tight end. And then this guy is responsible for the number three receiver. Now this can be very good if they're running crossing routes. It's not so good if they know that it's coming because what they can do is they can send their tight end on a drag, maybe take their back, put him on a wheel, run a uh, double curls on the left and then put this guy on a streak. And what you're gonna see is the quarters coverage can now get burned over the top for you know a pretty nice little gain as well. So. We can't run quarters, we can't run palms, like what can we run, right? So um, this is where cover four palms uh, provides us with a really interesting check, which is known as a special check. And basically what we wanna do is essentially not make this safety so rely, us, our defense relies so much on this safety to be able to get all the way over the field and ultimately this corner, especially against a dub tight end. So what you're gonna get is a special check. And essentially what that means is, this guy right here, Stokes, is going to play coverage, main coverage on number 13, Mike Evans, every, no matter what he runs. So if he runs a smoke, if he runs an out, if he runs a vertical, it doesn't matter. He's going to play him in man-to-man. -man. 
which means we're going to actually play kind of cover four palms, if you will, uh, to read trap coverage between the number two and the number three receiver. So Sullivan is kind of like an outside quarter zone defender, if you will. He's going to be playing number two if he goes vertical, unless that number three receiver runs to the flat. So if the number three receiver runs vertical, Douglas is now responsible. So you can see how this is very helpful. But if number three runs to the flat, Douglas is now going to work to the number two and Sullivan is going to take him to the flat. So if any receiver goes to the flat, Sullivan's going to take them um, out of those two receivers, and then and then um, Douglas is responsible for the vertical. If they both go on vertical routes, and this is really important, then Douglas is going to take number three, and Sullivan is going to take number two, and we're going to show you why this can be somewhat decent against this coverage. So if I give you that same route combo that was giving me trouble, you'll notice that cover four palms you know, it plays it really, really well. And now they have to check it down to a curl, which is not always the best route, at least against match coverage. So as you can see there, that's, that's and, and, and with the special check, that is kind of the basic premise of what a cover six is. Cover six is a split field coverage, just like cover four palms and cover four quarters. So you're gonna get palms over here, and then you're getting that cover two kind of style coverage on the left side. Now, where this can be problematic, and I'm gonna shift back to palms just for one little bit, one more second, um, is a route combination like this. And this combination right here, essentially it's literally just a bug. At the end of the day, it's a bug. What you're seeing is that these corner or these um, these players are running into one another, and that is what is causing the, the major problem. And I'll show it to you um, from cover four palms, and I'll show it to you from cover four, uh, or from cover six. It, it's basically the same. You'll see that they literally run into each other or they'll kind of rub off of one another. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if it's cover four palms or cover six, you're getting the same coverage essentially to that side. And you're seeing that I can absolutely abuse this route combination. And it's really frustrating because now you have to over adjust your coverage, which is going to make you vulnerable to other routes that your opponent might run. For example, one of the things you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to say, well, let's just man coverage the number three receiver. So we're gonna put our three rec and man coverage on him. Only problem is now we don't have a three rec on the field. So now if they run a concept like this, if you will, this tight end post has nobody to go guard it and it is wide open. Therein lies a major problem with this match defense. So how do we fix it? How do we fix it? Well, EA Sports, honestly, I wish they would fix it. Um, this has been a bug in the game since the beginning of Madden 22 this little fact that they run into one another. But the best way that I know to fix it is basically this. It's really simple, actually. We're just gonna show Blitz at a big nickel. Now, what you're gonna notice is this guy right here moves inside. And that's a, actually, a seems like a subtle thing. We're gonna pass commit too to help with the play action. But because he moves inside, what you'll notice here is they tend to not run into each other as bad. So this corner route is still quasi open um but they don't run into each other and because they don't run into each other it literally fixed the problem it, it to me it's crazy that this is what you have to do but literally just move this guy in if you want if you don't want to if you're in big nickel it's really easy to just show blitz so that's what i like to recommend if you're in another formation let's talk about um you know nickel triple or nickel two four five five now notice the corner you're still getting this kind of wonky um, animation from that quarter zone and I'll, I'll be honest with you I don't really know how to fix that yet um, but what you can do and if you're if they're just spamming this route combination my recommendation would actually be to call the uh, either the, the cover nine defense or another really cool thing that you can do with this because of how good um, because of how good you know this deep blue is over here to King literally all you have to do is just put this guy in a cloud flap and then you can put this guy into a deep half and then if you want you could take this three rack and you could put him into his own or if you're in big nickel over g you have this outside third that you can do which is a really good zone and then you can drop this guy into a middle third this will help you stop the route combination obviously you're no longer in a you know a quarters or a match coverage really You've got some matching principles, but it's really not a match coverage. But what you'll notice is that that cloud tends to do a decent job. He didn't react, but he's kind of in the area. But another thing that you can do, and this is what it comes down to, like I said, is that you're getting a random bug in the game from a, it's, it, it really is a bug that's causing um, their conversion from match to, um, to man coverage and they're running into each other or they're kind of dumbing out. 
So again, just move this guy more inside. Just kind of get him inside as best you can. To me, this is what helps. I mean, I think this is the easiest thing you can do to help this. And now you notice here, I mean, he plays it a lot better than he would if, if it was um, another situation. Another little thing that you can do if you want to is you can man this guy up on the slot so that you get kind of a press animation, if you will. And then you can actually take this three rack and put him in a purple zone. And then you're still using this vertical hook. So you still, you drop your DN in a bluff blitz. That'll kind of keep that bluff blitz zone out there for you. You're kind of using over here now on the right side. And now you've got that curl flat um, for any underneath routes. You still have that number two vertical and you still have the number, th all the verticals are still fine. And what you'll see with this is they tend to not, I mean, they still kind of get dumbed out just because, I mean, that's just more of him beating the press, but you just see the concept hopefully that you can see. Now, uh, the last little piece of this is, let's say that you are, uh, let me just jump out of this and grab you a different coverage real quick. But let's say, and if you wanna learn all this, I have literally in the Patreon, we have a whole ebook on match coverage and explaining every single piece of match coverage, every match coverage in the game, how they all work, what beats them, what stops it, all that stuff. So if you wanna get access to that, again, that's in my Patreon in the description. But I wanna show you one other thing that you can do, and that is to put in your audibles this cover nine coverage. And the cover nine is basically a flipped version of cover six. Uh, cover six is also known as quarter, quarter, half. Cover nine would be half, quarter, quarter. And why this could be helpful, um, let me just walk you through you know, how this works. And I've talked about this a little bit before on my channel. You're still gonna kinda get this you know, kind of special defense, if you will. But really what we're gonna get here is we've got this cloud, we've got this vert hook, and we've got this really effective deep half. And I just want you to see how this works. If they run that route combination, what you'll see is this corner, typically it does kind of get open, I will say that. But again, if you man it up, it, you, there's, a, there's ways that you can kind of get after this cover or this corner. One of my favorite things about this coverage is if they run this version of the play from the deep post, you'll notice that this cover nine really does a good job at guarding the deep post from the uh, number one receiver, which is one of the easiest things you can do to stop the majority of the bombs that people are going to hit you with. But I have to be honest with you, cover six does have some random bugs um, in it, and it's just very unfortunate. Uh, because it is one of the best coverages in the game for a lot of different reasons, but you'll see here I'll show you cover nine one more time and This cover nine um, a lot of times that cloud it makes that a really hard throw. It's not a super um, You know, it's not a straightforward throw another little piece that you can do real quick out of cover nine is you can back that guy up That'll help just a little bit kind of get him keep him out of the the muck so to speak with that drag and what you'll see is this, he'll kind of be able to play a little bit better on the cloud right there. And, you know, again, it's a, it's a tight throw. It's not, you know, if they don't have, if they're not a great passer, that's not the easiest throw in the world, I will say. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you real quick, this is cover six. If you back off that number one, it's not really going to matter. Um, he's still going to go. So you'll see here, he's still going to go underneath. And you're still getting that kind of like little rub pump rub thing that's going on uh, with that route so that's basically um, you know what I wanted to talk about in terms of how cover six works the best thing that I know to do is to move this guy inside a little bit to me that's gonna help the rub the natural rub that is occurring on these routes and what you'll see is this will be a little bit better defended now um, another easy solution quote unquote it's not really like I said it's not the best because you're gonna be really um, susceptible to corners, is to take this guy, Douglas, and put him on a, um, a deep half, so to speak. So like a deep half to the left, just like this. And then the problem that this will create, if you watch your corner route, you're kind of anticipating that quarter flat did take it there, but he doesn't always. Um, that's just something, that's another way that you can kind of deal with it. The bigger issue with that is if you get a crossing route, so let's say you get like a, now again, you can user some of this to help this out. So you can use her, you can just say, in my defense, I know that I have to use her, the crosser. But if you put this deep half over here, 
I just want you to watch this crosser to Godwin. You'll see that a lot of times he actually gets covered by the three wrecks. So it's not a terrible other option. Deep halfing out of cover six is not a terrible option um, because you still have you still have the the number one receiver in man lock. So if they run a skinny post, you've got a guy there. The one thing I want to show you one last thing about this PA slot corner though is like I said, you really are relying on the quarter flap to take him, and he doesn't always do it, as you can see right there. And that's that's where you know you kind of get into this little chess thing, and 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 really the best coverage for trips is some type of you know where you're doing this hot routed inside core it's a very good adjustment uh for this but again palm struggles you're not going to find a defense that doesn't struggle uh with that that in particular route combination um and that's part of what makes trips so good you just got some of these random things like this that can make it really difficult um can make it just really difficult to get open against but you really are relying on the quarter flat. If that quarter flat doesn't make that play, like, you know, then then that and that's why the deep half is not not a great adjustment because again, you see what happens, see what can happen. Um, but again, I think just simply showing blitz. If you show blitz, it does help this significantly. You'll see right here. Um, you know, he does take that false step, but he's still kind of in the area. My favorite little tip to tell people is this number three receiver causes so many problems for uh, players just man him up please um, just make your life a little bit easier man him up now all the bombs are done they can't they there's no bomb against this you'll see now this could get open because he's got a route running ability but other than that you know you're still sitting pretty one thing also real quick is if you man align if you man align it's gonna make this defender over him who's a better cover guy you could man him up. One thing I did want to show you is I showed blitz out of this. You'll see um, this does still get bombed. And that's, you know, again, it's just kind of one of those things. It's like dig return on a bunch. They just kind of run into each other. And every, you know, again, if you man him up, that's solved. If you um, if you deep half, for the most part, that's solved. They're just going to, you're going to have to use the the corner. But that's just something you need to know. If you're going to match at a high level, got to know what beats you and every year there's these random bugs in the coverage that do leave you vulnerable and this is one of the best beaters in the game i think for cover six so and, and most people um one one last thing here real quick that you can do because we know the kind of routes that evans runs um now this will this is this can be vulnerable to post you know if they're going to run a post route but one little thing you can do is you can take this about this defender here um, on the outside and just say I'm gonna put him in a third and and that will stop the bomb now again the, the skinny post is probably still gonna be wide open but this will stop the bomb and it'll play that corner decently as you can see right there so that's cover six how to kind of glitch it how to combat it if it was me and I was to give you any advice again just man up that number three receiver but also just call cover four quarters just literally call cover four quarters and this route combination, I guess it is still kind of open, <laughs> um, but there, there will be a lot of value in cover four quarters, I'm telling you. And again, another little trick you can do is you can inside quarter out of a cover three match and it'll be pretty decent. So those are some tricks to combat this. Um, this is a very specific route combination, by the way. So it's not like, you know, they can't just, there's not like unlimited bombs. This is like a very specific thing that they'll run to get you out of cover six. And honestly, if you want my personal opinion, you can just man this guy up or bluff blitz this guy. Now you still have that bluff blitz. Um, and now you see here that this route combination is no longer as open. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the whole entire match defense, there's a link in the description that'll take you over to the Patreon membership where you can get it for just 10 bucks. The cool part about it is again, you get access to all of the Madden strategy guides, all the weekly pro tips and meta updates, and you can ask your questions in there. Everything is, you know, I'm an open book in there. So uh, if you want to get better at the game, I really encourage you to join the Patreon membership. There's a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Thanks for watching.